What's going on YouTube? So I'm saying bringing you a first look at the Vapor Shark DNA 200 watt. Now this is not going to be a full review. I will walk you through some of the specs of it and hopefully get you guys up close and personal with it so you can familiarize yourself with the device. I will tell you that it is a 900 ma 10 watt an hour 3S LiPo battery. It does have a charging feature that they call Zip which is it charges 2.3 times faster so you're looking at about 90 minutes to fully charge the device now it is made out of 6031 aluminum so it's a lot lighter than the all the other DNAs that are out there it does have the evolved DNA 200 chip has eScribe software which is capable of over 93 customizable options you can actually customize this to any builds that you have, any specific preferences you have, or anything like that. This is a spring-loaded pin device. It is e easy to use. It's real simple. I, I'm not going to go on my full review yet because I'm not fully familiar with DNA 200 yet. Um, not like all the other reviewers. This is my first DNA 200 device, so I'm not as familiar with it as some of the other people out there. But I will get break this down, let you guys take a closer look at it, and you guys can decide whether you want to get it or not. Alright guys, here's the box that the Vapor Shark DNA 200 comes in. Pretty simple little plastic box here. It does tell you all the features of it, like... Let me see if I can zoom you guys in, fix this, so you can read it. And there you go. This pretty much tells you all the modes that it has, walks you through it. Mine's a little, a little scuffed up. So let's pop her open. You do get this little vape shield card if you purchase vape shield, which vape shield is kind of like a hydrophobic nano coating thing that's supposed to make it like water resistant to where water just beads off of it. Now I've not tested this yet because like I said, this is not a full review. Here is the DNA 200 Vapor Shark. Real, real simple, small device. Battery pack is removable. You can take the battery out and swap it out for another one if you want. Spring load at 510. Now let me see here. See if I can't get you guys to focus in a little bit. Right there's the screen. Pretty bright, pretty bright. I'm liking it. Button does light up when you fire. Also, when you're charging, it glows red. Now, another thing that comes in the box, which I did not put in my box, which was under here, was this little charge cable. I couldn't get it to roll up the way they had it and made it fit in there just perfect, so I couldn't get the box to shut. So, I was just like, you know what, I'll just sh show it to them anyways. I mean, it's pretty basic. You get a little flat USB card or, or uh, USB cord that you can charge and do upgrades or updates or whatever you wish to use with this device. Now, I'm not going to go fully into all the specs on this quite yet because, I mean, I have not had a bunch of experience with it yet and. I am actually going to do a little more 
up close and kind of hold on to it for a little while and test it out make sure everything works properly and all that so now I feel perfectly comfortable I'm gonna pop a RDA on this and we're vape on it and talk about it a little bit more alright guys that was my first look on the Vapor Shark DNA 200. Like I said, this is just a preview. I'm not going in depth with it and giving you guys my opinion on it. So far, right now, I've only had it for like a day and a half, maybe two days, and it's 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 a solid, small device. It's really lightweight. Do a little comparison here. I got the SX Mini right here. So, I mean, it is it is a relatively small device. Now I have on top of here the Saper by Wotofu, uh, the Sapor by Wotofu, sorry about that. Now, like I said, I'm going to need a little bit of time with this thing before I give you guys my full opinion. Uh, I'm actually going to the beach this week, so what better way to test out a Vapor Shark than at the beach? So, figured, you know, I'm going to take it with me on vacation come back do a follow-up when I come back from it and kind of give you guys my opinion my thoughts on it and if I had any problems with it or not now I'm not gonna guarantee that straight when I come back I'm gonna do a review on this because I mean I do have other things I need to review too but I will get this video out hopefully next weekend yeah next weekend I'm hoping next weekend I'll be able to get it out and be able to walk you guys through everything like the, all the customizable features about it all that and not sure I'll, I'll probably take my computer with me to you know that way I can fiddle around with it and familiarize myself with it but like I said this is just a preview if you guys want you can leave a like and subscribe and just follow up on me and I'll definitely keep you guys posted on all my social media my Twitters my Instagram I'll keep you all up to date with everything and let you guys all know how I feel about the device so far it's a great device you're not gonna get an all-day battery out of this thing obviously it's only a 900 mile 3s lipo so you're not gonna get a all-day vape out of this you are gonna have to charge it but the good thing is that since they do have the whole zip feature it does charge a lot faster I've noticed that I've taken it to work with me and whenever I have a dead battery or something I'll plug it up whenever I'm on break and then go back into work and then when I come out it's fully charged it's good to go and I'll have to I'll give you guys all the specs on how long it takes for the batteries to die and all that good stuff so without further ado guys thank you so much for watching now you guys keep vaping stay tuned for more